Gentlemen, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, over the past four years, the previous majority took every opportunity to expand the reach and the scope of the federal government. You see, they believe in government solutions. We believe in people. We believe in solutions that embrace people and individuals. Now, as a physician with countless personal stories, those solutions in health care mean patient-centered solutions, not government-centered solutions. Now, it's important to repeal this bill for many reasons, but two very specific reasons. First, it's exactly what we said we were going to do. If given the privilege of leading once again, we would vote to repeal this bill. And second, it's the principled thing to do. If you think about it, all of the principles that we hold dear in health care, whether it's accessibility or affordability or quality or responsiveness of the system or innovation of the system so that we have the highest quality or choices, choices for patients, none of them, none of them are improved by the current law or the bill. Premiums are increasing. Jobs are being lost because of the bill. Quality is being defined by bureaucrats, not by patients or families or doctors. The good news is that there are positive solutions that embrace fundamental American principles that allow us to solve these challenges without putting the government in charge. And that's exactly where we will lead over the coming months and, yes, over the coming years. So, Madam Speaker, the status quo in health care is unacceptable. The bill that was passed is destructive to both principal and to patients. The work will begin tomorrow after we vote to repeal today will be focused on patients, on people, and not the government. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Michigan.